Nearly 77,000 acres are history tonight, all burned as firefighters continue to try to gain an upper hand on the Brian Hickey is in Pollock Pines, the very latest on the firefighting episode. Drought dry California, the rapidly spreading king fire sparking. On September 13, 2014, at 4.32 p.m., the Fire Protection Dispatch Center received a 911 call reporting a structure fire. I just broke into a house. I'm just seeing if anybody's here. I just broke into a house. The alarm went off. Um, there's a forest fire, it's off, uh... He was advised to wait for deputies to arrive, but he had fled the scene. Included in the initial response of fire engines was one of the state's renowned arson investigator experts, Captain Tom Oldag. As the engines were arriving, they could see and smell light smoke, but would have to hike this rugged terrain to get to the source of the fire. Investigator Oldag took a different approach, and approached the fire from Moon Lane in an attempt to cut off the fire and stop it from spreading. As the fire crews arrived at the origin of the fire, they heard a male voice voice yell for help. The firefighters made a desperate attempt to get to him, and as they did, they noticed at least two more fires had been separately ignited. Was this arsonist lighting more fire in an attempt to trap the firemen, cover his tracks, or make sure the entire forest burned to the ground? As Oldag drove down Moon Lane, he encountered some residents that said they had just seen a man fleeing the area. And we saw, we came across him and uh, asked him, you know, what is he doing here and where does he live? And he's kind of, uh, very sketchy with his answers. When he first saw us, he told us our house is going to burn down. You better get home, your house is going to burn down. 2,500 plus firefighters continued to try and gain control. In just one day, 42,000 acres burned, showing no signs of containment, let alone control. Old Ag, realizing the magnitude of this arson investigation and the resources it would take to investigate, requested fellow arson task force member, El Dorado County District Attorney Investigator Dave Stevenson. The two investigators started right here with what they deemed as the area of origin. They had located at least two more areas of origin, which definitely pointed to what they referred to as a multiple area of origin fire, a confirmed arson. They knew that they had an arsonist on their hands. Due to the gravity of the fire, the fact that it was still burning, and the need to preserve evidence in an environment that was ever-changing, we elected to use an aerial video platform, more commonly known as a, a quadcopter, to fly the scene and preserve the evidence as it existed on the time when the fire started. Investigator Richard Pesci was called in to fly the copter, and the footage you see here is the invaluable evidence retained by the quadcopter's flights in documenting the scene. As firefighters from local, state, and federal agencies poured into El Dorado County to battle the blaze, the investigation into who started this fire was ongoing and around the clock. Investigators from the U.S. Forest Service with the expertise in cause and origin were brought in to process the crime scene, while the arson task force investigators continued to track down leads, interview witnesses, and find the arsonist. Wayne Allen Huntsman entered the Safeway grocery store right here in Pollock Pines. This is actual surveillance video obtained by investigators showing him stealing alcohol and exiting the store. It's not exactly clear what happened or why, but we do know that Wayne Allen Huntsman admitted to lighting a fire at the point of origin to stay warm after a long hike on a record-breaking 93-degree day. Huntsman, then in what some speculate is an attempt to get hero status with the community or in good graces with his girlfriend, took this selfie video of himself standing in between the two different fires. Note the smile on his face as he tries to claim he is in grave danger. Huntsman fled from fire personnel towards Moon Lane, then out to Four Bay Road where he encountered this good Samaritan. I saw a gentleman walking um, to the right of my vehicle by the lake, and as I pulled over I looked at the guy, said do you need a ride, and he said yes. Huntsman accepted the ride and began his tale of how he escaped danger and even provided the selfie video. The retired fireman, sensing the importance of this video, took a video of the video, which later became evidence. Arson investigations of this magnitude sometimes take weeks, months, years, and sometimes are never even solved. In this case, Wayne Allen Huntsman had no idea when he started this fire that the citizens of El Dorado County get involved and are connected to their community, and when they see something, they say something. Thanks to local, state, and federal resources and the community of Pollock Pines, Wayne Allen Huntsman was in custody within five days of him igniting this 97,717-acre blaze that took over 27 days to control. On April 8, 2016, in the Superior Court of El Dorado County, Wayne Allen Huntsman pled guilty to three felony counts of arson and admitted to several allegations concerning injury to firefighters and the burning of multiple homes. His effective sentence will be 20 years in prison. This case was unlikely to have this successful of an outcome without the help of some concerned citizens who were willing to step up, take action, and when they see something, say something. If you see something, say something.